People that push fasting on you as a cure-all for any kind of problem that you have are full of shit. Um, this is something that has been, um, you know, an irritating point for me for a long time. And I get questions about this all the time. So I kind of wanted to break this down in a little bit of an easier way to be able to get this information in one spot. Anytime a guru comes at you and tells you that fasting is going to increase your autophagy, it's going to fix your blood glucose, it's going to do all these things, it's going to make you lose fat and gain muscle, it's all bullshit. The way that they do this is they take research that looks at fasting and it takes it out of context. It doesn't show it to you in relation to a continuous diet. When you look at the actual research and you compare it to a continuous calorie deficit with equated calories and protein, we see no actual benefit in a practical sense to a fasting diet. Um, you might see negatives. You might see IGF-1 drop and maybe a potential for less lean muscle. But body composition, blood lipids, cardiometabolic factors, anything from autophagy, autophagy is happening all the time anyways. All of these things are equated when you look at this with a continuous diet. What's really happening are the benefits of losing body fat. It is not a benefit of fasting. Um, and there is a lot of research that compares these two to back this up. So the next time somebody comes at you and tells you that fasting is going to fix your hormones because it increases GH, well, that's bullshit. It's increasing GH because you're in a calorie deficit. Your body says, holy shit, I don't want to lose lean muscle mass, so I'm going to up GH to prevent loss of lean muscle mass. Guess what also prevents that loss? having a continuous supply of calories. So if you do a continuous calorie deficit, you don't need to bump up GH to prevent yourself from losing that same amount. So they really take this data out of context and they manipulate it. And this is how people try to push these things. Now, if you gain a benefit from fasting because it helps you control your daily calorie intake, that's a great thing and I completely support you in doing that. But let's not pretend that this is superior to the, a standard continuous diet for any outcome under the sun. It's not. So basically this comes down to if your goal is to lose body fat, choose the eating style that you prefer that allows you to do this long term. And stop with the bullshit.